Welcome back to another crypto video. What's good ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to just jump straight into the graph because we're pumping on this daily time frame. I'm going to get straight into that juicy, juicy news. We can see the Graph Foundation allocates 1.25 million in wave five of grants, marking over one year of grants. And this was just published a few days ago after a year launching the grants program with nearly 12 million dollars already allocated wave 5 is now complete continuing its mandate to support the graph ecosystem into 2022 and beyond the graph foundation is excited to announce the allocation of 1.25 million in this latest wave to a diverse group of over 30 grantees to continue the evolution of the ecosystem improving the protocol supporting the dapps building on the graph creating new tools and growing the general community so super super bullish amazing news for this particular cryptocurrency project and it shows us that graph is here to stay so let's just jump straight into the price action we can see we've had a very very nice pump today and when we take a look at this particular pump we are up 22 percent over the last you know 20 hours or so and what we have is this broadening consolidation pattern what we can see is you know we have the support at the bottom here we have the resistance at the top, resistance being $0.39. So we might potentially actually bull flag at this particular level. Uh, we are getting a nice sort of consolidation on the 15 minute time frame. We can see we're putting through higher, um, higher lows as well as some higher uh, highs, which are just starting to roll over a little bit now, actually. But if we do break through this particular um, resistance at 0.39, we'll be making our way up to 0.408. Uh, one thing to consider is we're extremely overbought on the RSI, we're sitting at 87 on the 15 minute time frame. But flipping back to the four hour time frame, we're not too overbought at all, but we have seen some explosiveness. So do expect that maybe we can have a small pullback to these uh, sort of lower fib ranges at. 0.36 or even 0.38 for the time being. If we do break through this 0.39 and 0.408 resistance with confidence and high volume, we will be making our way up to the higher resistances around 0.54. Do you remember the graph is always under the bull market support band and has been for a long time, which means we are typically in a bearish scenario. The sentiment is bearish, especially whilst the rest of the market has fallen behind a little bit. On the MACD side of things, we have got that nice golden cross over there. It's looking pretty good and uh, if we can hold this level maybe we'll see some more continuation to the upside and if you want to also buy some graph today make sure you use my link in the description the one at the very top best place to grab some graph of course uh, not financial advice so it does look really good for me anyway for a long-term hold and if we look at some of the I suppose the next bull cycle price targets using our fib extension to find the most pragmatic target you know we can take this to the bottom where we assume is our market cycle bottom and the targets we're getting is like $3.6, $3.97, and $4.50. $4.50. So that's uh, exactly the pragmatic targets that we do have. When you look at the previous swing high to swing low over in this particular area, we can see that we came up to 3.618 and also the 4.236 but of course the market cap was much lower so it's easier to get those huge returns whereas now per cycle the percentage or the ROI is diminishing each time but it doesn't mean there is not a huge potential opportunity there for the graph I think you know what we need to see is a breakout and then a retest of these upcoming resistances 0 0.53 0 0.69 as well being one if we look at this particular high and take down to the swing low we can see that also these fall along some of our fibonacci extension resistances such as the 0.236 the 0.382 over here when we do break through this particular $1.34 resistance, that's when we'd hope to see some of these next price targets on the more short to medium term scale as opposed to the macro scale. So I think graph, goodbye. So goodbye at the moment, we are down quite a lot, which makes me also bullish. If we look at the first particular correction for the graph, it was a whopping correction, wasn't it? Really quite a big one. It was about 78%. If we look at the current correction that we're within, you know, we're also looking about 75%, and that's when we saw the the impulse after the correction was made. And actually, I've got that incorrect, so I need to pull this down lower. But it's not letting me... Right, either way, we could assume that the correction was quite harsh. 
is it going to let me move it? Yeah, there we go. So it was 85% correction, followed by 76% correction. What happened is after that, we got a pump up 195%. So if we assume diminishing returns, maybe there's a 200% maybe a 200% investment opportunity at this particular time. Take profits guys at 096, take profits at 081. These are your take profit ranges, you sell resistance, okay? So take profit at 053, 069, 085, 094, take profit zones. And uh, that's when you can ride the wave up. You know, I think it's gonna play out quite nicely this particular investment. I'm gonna probably actually also <laughs> buy a shitload right now oopsie my my uh, language and yeah that's about a wrap so if you are new here make sure you hop into the discord channel you're gonna get some charts you're also gonna get some basically daily take profit zones you're gonna get some dollar cost average charts as well as other things to help you invest and actually grow your portfolio um, without making the wrong kind of decisions it's about 200 people so make sure you join this discord channel make sure you also stay crypto safe check out my nord vpn link in the description to protect that crypto from cyber thieves make sure you also subscribe like comment i'll see you down in the comments suggest some videos say hello see you soon